Explain how to snap a picture with how we're all doing it these days on your phone. We are, and I'm trying to get the best angle of cameraman Nick. Pretty hard though. He's a tough subject. He's always he's always moving around. <laughs> there you go, sexy pose. <laughs> we do. We all use our smartphones because they're handy, right? They, and it, they take pretty good pictures. But there are tips that people should be using if they're using them because I mean, sure. you can use it the right way, you can use it the wrong way. What are some basic things when you're snapping pics with that smartphone to get I good think pics? The biggest complaint that people have is there's no zoom on a smartphone. No way to change the lens anyway. So yeah. I would say work with it. You're getting a wide lens. Look for things in the foreground, midground, and background. Wide angle lenses are great at making your photo look three dimensional, so maximize that. And then the other thing is if you can't get a zoom on your camera phone, there's lenses for that. Get the gear, get the parts, absolutely. I want to pick that up and just see if we can show people what this actually looks like. This, this is, is a neat. cool little lens. Yeah, this is actually a toy lens. So what this does is it gives you a sharp uh, image right in the middle, and then you get this cool out-of-focus toy effect. I mean, we've got these smart filters, but this does it in a creative way. Imagine like Christmas tree coming up to the holiday season. All your lights are these big yellow, red, green cool. circles. Yeah, it's a neat idea. That's neat. So these just stick on, and I've seen ones that clip on as well. Yeah, magnets on, or the straps and harnesses, or even to a case. You can get a case you can macro, so Absolutely. you can actually get cool shots of like fabric and things like that. Yeah, that show your, like your phone's got a great camera in it, so maximize the use of that with different lenses. Okay, so what about this? Sure. Other big problem with smartphones is they're not great in low light situations. So one quick answer is let's add more light. I mean that's kind of the key. So you know these little LED lights that you can pop on, they can provide the lighting that you need, they can fill in the shadows, just uh, like that. Get nicer photos that way, absolutely. And that just plugs right into the headphone jack. Yep, absolutely. Perfect. Okay, tripods. Yep, tripods always handy. Now remember it won't stabilize your subjects, but it's great for those self portraits. Get those selfie shots. You know, we're always doing these handheld selfie shots, yep. but this is getting back to the classic Set up on a table or a rock and get pictures of your family together with a nice background. I think uh, one of the reasons why a lot of people like smartphones is because it's instantaneous to social sure. media, you got the Wi Fi connectivity. You were actually telling me that a lot of cameras yeah. now actually have it built in, though. Well, this is a great thing. If you want to get the best photos possible, a camera like this is still small, but it's going to give you way better image quality. You get interchangeable lenses, and you get the connectivity from the smartphone. So you can do everything that you want to do here. You can fire the camera from the phone. You can see your shots, start and stop video, and transfer all your photos. So you're taking pictures with that, but they're showing up on your smartphone, and then you can upload right away. Right to Facebook, you know, right to Instagram. So you still have that real-time connectivity, and you get a better camera to there do shots go. with. That's pretty cool. So you can do something like that, or of course, you use your smartphone. So there's some tips and tricks, Jill, to uh, upload the perfect uh, selfie shots Christmas morning. Mm -hmm.